more video by Fantastic Hip Hop. Watched a couple videos by them already before, but this one is about Tyler the Creator. It's how Tyler the Creator just destroyed every new rapper. And I'm guessing it has something to do with that interview. I've only seen snippets of it and shit. Now, after a time where so, so much of the rap that. world has just made a mockery of what the genre stands for, one of the most acclaimed, gifted, and respected rappers of the modern era has finally spoken up and called out all of the musical grifters running around and trying to sell themselves off as rappers, as in a recent interview. None other than Tyler, the creator, bashed the current state of hip-hop for so many reasons that the world yeah, needed to hear from an artist of his magnitude. And now, while some people have accused Tyler of doing this for attention, or as a result of him becoming bitter and out of touch with the ever-changing trends in hip-hop. When you look at everything Tyler says and just how nuanced and detailed he gets when it comes to this warning shot he has given to the entire rap world, you can see that what he is saying is so much more than just some shade being thrown out because with everything he has had to say, he isn't dissing other rappers to start beef or drama but he is fighting to preserve the very identity of what hip hop and really music culture stands for in a way. And now as we dive deeper into everything Tyler has said in one of the most crazy and viral interviews that has come from any rapper in quite some time, by the end of it all, you will be even more shocked about everything than you would think on the surface because the way Tyler pulls the curtain and exposes everyone, it will really have you questioning the entire landscape of the music industry and the people who are being positioned <coughs> to spearhead the future of hip hop. So now, now with this Tyler the so. Creator interview, as he spoke with Maverick Carter, Tyler I heard what he said about Ian. He came out so much of what has been dominating the hip hop landscape over the past few years, and now specifically addressing everything in the rap world that before the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef really had people questioning the long term stability of rap music as a whole. Tyler had three main points about everything horrible going on in the rap world right now that, when he connected, put together a shocking picture that, in most eras, would be any rapper's worst nightmare. And now to begin to address this problem that so many current rappers are seemingly a part of. The first thing Tyler talked about is the pure intent behind so many of the people making music today, which as he described, is no longer about putting compelling art into the world and instead is more about posing as a musician to be treated as such by the industry, but then just releasing what Tyler calls meme records. And as Tyler puts these artists on blast for pretty much exposing themselves for showing their true nature, which is of course that they are making music to exploit algorithms and the digital media landscape, as opposed to creating something genuinely powerful that can resonate with human beings and not machines. This is the first curtain Tyler is trying to pull in the industry by just waking people up to the fact that so many of the new rappers who have been getting pushed by the industry do not have the same intentions that all great artists historically had. And as there have been so many rappers who release music that literally just feels like a joke with how mind-numbing it is and how some people are still accepting this. this Alright, so pause on that. I get some people are still accepting that. Okay, I understand that. I get it. But the thing is, people have known this for a while besides people accepting that people have known that this has been around for a little bit like meme rap whatever you want to call it mumble rap it's been around since like 2016 bro that's when it like started if not beyond that for the chief keef he basically was like the initial and it's it just like it's i mean at least with uh the rap like it just it started off that way and we're at uh all the way up till ian now <laughs> you know you know what i mean so like it's just uh i don't know i would say it's like it hasn't really evolved. It's like, it's still subpar. And I understand what he's saying, but we've been known this shit's been around for a while now. It's been years. It's like him just calling out, out now in an interview doesn't make any sense, I feel like. I feel like he's too little too late. Like, they should have been on this shit immediately if it was such an issue. But now it's too late. These people are out here just doing this to make their money. I mean, what's wrong with that at this point? They're just, you know, they're getting them some internet and they're fucking... They're grabbing them some money out of it. You know what I mean? It just is what it is at this point. Like I don't, I don't, I don't get the the quarrel with it. They're even claiming they're not here to try to like compete with the likes of people that are trying to like, you know, make a name in actual music. You know what I'm saying? So why even bother with them? You know, show up, throw them to the side. Then who cares what they're fucking doing? If they're making meme records, who gives a fuck? If you're not, if you're not worried about it, you're worried about make, getting awards from rapping or whatever, making good music albums and worry about that why are you worry about ice spice making her little tune she ain't worried about the fucking awards bro she worried about me ma making a good record better than a uh, lotto or some other shit you know what i mean like so why are you worried about like what meme rappers are doing or whatever or little mob or whatever like maybe they do want awards but obviously they're not gonna get it doing it their way uh, or maybe they will i don't i don't know you know what i'm you know what i'm saying it's possible it's not impossible it's like we like the the fucking culture of music today makes uh People like, you know, Miles, like, uh, popular, making, like, you know, his, his music actually, like, has 
you know, listens and plays and shit like that. And, like, like genuine. Like, it's, it's genuine shit from people. Like, so, it's like, how can you be mad at, like, these other rappers that come in doing this other shit? You know what I mean? Like, just people genuinely listen to that. And no, 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 no hate on, you know, Miles. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's goofball music. He knows it is. Like, it's, it's goofy as fuck. But it's, it's funny. It's entertaining. But it's just, um, it's like, that shit rides and like they they wonder like oh no we got here it's like what do you mean but y'all allowed this to happen like y'all been allowing this to happen like come on man. like bruh like y'all been allowing this to happen now everybody want to wake up like y'all too late bruh way this too was late. very important for tyler to say and just to wake people people up what is people really up. going on right in front of them and now building up because thing, of the right? nature of artists making music that aims to be a viral joke over everything else so much of what has been released within the hip-hop space has become redundant and more than ever from rappers to producers feels like everyone is trying to clone each other and take somebody else's signature sound and wave and while tyler may have specifically targeted ian for pretty much just being the definition of this cookie cutter mold of artists that is trying to take over right now his point about all of this goes much further than just talking about how rap Rappers stealing other rappers' sounds has never been worse because as a result of artists pretty much not trying to be original and then the fact of them copying things for dollars as opposed to creating art in directions that they are actually inspired by. This isn't just limiting creativity, but this low effort way of making music has translated into every single aspect of these new rappers' brands. As when it comes to translating this viral hype from algorithms into live performances that are supposed to captivate audiences. Tyler calls out the hip-hop landscape of today for delivering some of the most lousy and lazy performances of any cloth of musicians ever. And now somebody calling out the entirety of hip-hop for doing this on this level is really long overdue because aside from the superstars who truly know how to command a stage like Travis Scott, Playboy Cardi, and of course Tyler himself, the majority of Gurren Rapper's live shows are genuinely horrible, as from rapping over pre-recorded vocals, which is another aspect of performing that Tyler has been super critical about in the past, because it really just is a lazy crutch for most people who use it, to the fact that so many rappers performing don't bring any energy or interesting dynamic at their shows whatsoever. Yeah, These live performances show, have become a direct extension of how devoid of life and identity that the music of so many of these new rappers have been putting out is, which now even building more on Tyler's point about all of this, is a direct reason why hip-hop ticket sales are down across the board right now and why more rappers tours are flopping and now bringing all of this together tyler's whole point about this was not to just criticize a lot yeah, of the new rappers out right now for being lousy musicians and really being nothing more than a disposable brand ambassador who is mimicking hip-hop but instead it was to illustrate the greater point that with all these musicians who do not care at all about their art, which is clear through not just the way they create their music, but through the way they conduct themselves and always spend all of their time in the limelight talking about any other ridiculous thing, but the actual product they are promoting, which is of course the music. These rappers and the inherent values they are projecting have destroyed the worth of the actual music they are supposed to be known for putting out. And this has caused a downfall in the entire music industry, as from fans who can't even articulate why they dislike an album because the thing is made so haphazardly and treated so disposably. To the rappers who spend their marketing and press campaigns for music gossiping and talking about drama, instead of convincing people why to actually care about the body of work they are putting out. Tyler brought up all of these points to slam the modern music industry and the direction it has been uh, heading. I ain't no, I ain't no lie, bro. You gotta, um, you gotta call out Tyler as well, like for um, his other stuff too. Not everything this nigga has put out is meaningful. Like, let's be real. Like, let's let's be fucking real. Like. He's the wrong, I'm not gonna lie, he's the wrong figurehead to call out this shit. I can't even lie, he's the wrong person to call it out. He's not wrong, he has grown from his position. But still, it's just like, um, he's still tired of the fucking creator, you know what I mean? It's like, he, like, him calling this shit out is just funny. It's like Steve-O calling out, like, jackass type shit. It's just, it's just funny. But I get it, but he's, he's also not someone that's ever, like, sat there and just copied people and shit like that. He's not like that. So I, I understand what he's calling out, too. I know he's calling out mostly the art, but it's also, like, these new people, they're just trying out new things, bro. It's like, you gotta let them find their own way, their own sound. And they probably will eventually, like, when they fall off, they'll, fi they'll, try they'll find some way to do something. It may not work, but they'll try something. And that that's their best bet. Like, little, what's his name, Smoke Purple, whatever, that, that boy Drought, bro, he's gone. Like, where you go? That man fucking, uh, I saw he fell, he fell off or whatever. Like, he just, uh... It should never change. He never changed what he did. Lil Pump changed a little bit. I don't know about music, but he, he changed his personality or whatever. But there was, there was growth. There was change. Lil Perp or Small Perp did not have any change. And that cost him uh, quite a lot. 
his music career kind of sank. And uh, YBN Namir, another one. I don't know what happened with his story, but I know like his shit sank. Like it's just crazy how fast it can, it can go. Like, I don't know what what they do with all that fucking money they made, but you know. And own, it, because guess, as it bro, stands, the value yeah. of the album is spiraling down a rabbit hole that they never come back from. But this is not necessarily because people don't Cyber care about albums, because as we have seen, especially in rap this year, when the right people drop, they do create massive moments that people can actually pay attention to and have some sort of discourse about. But generally speaking, so many of the rappers occupying the mainstream landscape right now have tired out listeners and made them untrusting of the musical products they are putting out. And as this criticism is coming from somebody like Tyler, the creator, whose last three albums have all been massive successes and arguably all classics in their own regard, as they have all solidified themselves as their own defining cultural moments. There could not be a better voice projecting this message because Tyler is screaming at the music world to do one thing that so many rappers today don't even consider, which is just to care about what they are doing and appreciate the art that they make. Because if they don't, nobody ever will. And in this world that we are starting to live in today, where most artists' album sales are dropping viciously, I mean, Tyler literally already proved his point in this interview as soon as he finished talking about all this because he told Maverick Carter that all of his negative comments are going to be the moments everyone clips up and talks about from this interview. Meanwhile, they will miss the context of why he made these points in the first place. And overall, the positive message Tyler is trying to have reach all of us through it because while he may be putting other artists who are younger than him down, which may make him look like a hater and an old head, what Tyler is doing <laughs> do here like is more respectable than anything else we have seen recently because in this time where the actual idea of the music is itself is being devalued and artists are just letting this happen without a care in the world as the internet is trying That's to facts. put the pieces together of what tyler Definitely said who he is them. calling out and what he is trying to accomplish as you understand that he is just trying to make a music world value the thing it was put in place to do Instead of staying on this path where artists are making a mockery of the word hip-hop and are trying to destroy everything That was once sacred the question you have to ask yourself is are you gonna join him? So now with all this said, let me know what do you feel about all the drama Tyler the Creator has stirred up, and do you agree with him or not? I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this, and if you want to see why Lil Wayne has some serious beef with Drake that's about to boil over and may just change how the two of them create music for the rest of their career, check out the suggested video. No, but Tyler's not wrong, like, uh, from what he was saying, I don't think it was, like, uh, like, all a bad thing. Obviously, things, things do need to change, like, do they... I guess people should care. Like, I, I don't know. To me, personally, I, I don't feel like uh, it's a big deal. As long as there are people in the game that still do, I feel like it's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with people coming in, you know, wanting to, like, make their money from it. It, it works. It works. Like, obviously, it's it's selling. You know what I mean? So, they're, they're doing what's selling. If people didn't want to hear it, I mean, it's like, I, I don't understand. It's like, they're only doing what works. And that bullshit that they be, you know, spitting, it, it, it sells, it sells bricks, bro. Like, this is what it is. People don't want to hear the fucking, uh, the long talk anymore, but they want to hear fucking E and rap. I mean, that's, it is what it is. That's what they buying, but they ain't buying them fucking tickets, though. That's the thing. They ain't buying them fucking show tickets. Ain't nobody trying to see the nigga live. Not after that horrible walkout he did. But they're fine with, with listening to music. I mean, the shit's free. But that's the shit that bumps in a club. But you ain't gonna hear Jermaine Cole in the club, you feel me? Unless he on like a, a certain beat or a certain song, you know what I mean?